A murti is a vessel that contains a manifestation, incarnation, and personification of a god. Though the word murti is often used to describe an image or statue of the divine, a murti is not an idol. It's a way to commune with the divine that would otherwise be beyond the senses. Murti is the means to relate to the unrelatable. It follows the logic that to drink water, you need a glass. To evolve as a human being, you take on a body. And to experience the boundless and unlimited divine, a devotee requires its form. That God is limitless but needs to be contained is at the heart of Vedic thinking. The whole is contained within the part. The bhakti devotional paths affirm this. Just as Sri Krishna's foster mother, Yashodara, saw the entire universe within the open mouth of her babe, we can perceive the formless only through form. Murti, as a living embodiment of the divine, finds its roots in the Vedas. Name and form are identical in Vedic Sanskrit. There's no separation between the inner vibrational structure and the outer shape of any object in nature. The name for an apple, for example, is the same as its form. Likewise, the Vedic gods are identical with the Sanskrit mantras that invoke their presence. Vedic meter determines the deity's sonic shape in patterns of low, medium, and high tones. When chanted, the mantras create a wave in space with gaps for the deity to inhabit. In this way, the gods are brought into being. Vedic invocation is the science behind installing a living murti in a temple. The deity's body is first carved according to the rules of sculpture elaborated in the Shilpa Shastras. When its eyes are opened, the priest chants its mantra that enlivens the god's prana or life force. This is called prana pratishta. Through invocation, the deity incarnates in a form, which would otherwise be a mere statue. Once alive, a murti becomes a portal to the infinite. When her eyes are opened, she sees you. You see her. That exchange closes the gap between God and human, and the goal of the Vedas is achieved. As is above, so is below. As is within, so is without. <laughs>